They are known for their cookies, but the Girl Scouts are hoping an upcoming event will encourage women of all ages to consider getting more involved with the Girl Scouts and for a lot of other reasons than maybe just purchasing a few boxes of cookies every year. How are you ladies? We have with us the CEO of the Girl Scouts, Marcy Henderson, with us today of the Black Hawk Council. Uh, the, uh, actually, of the yes. Girls? Of the, uh, yes. What's your official title? <laughs> CEO, you're correct. Okay, yes. and and uh, we have with us as well Tyler Ann Norby. She is a Girl Scout, and you are going to be taking part in a new race. It's called One Tough Cookie Mud Run, and are you ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to be talking about details of the event here, but Marcy, talk about why you decided to do something a little bit different and, and using the, the, the cookie kind of as the crux. Well, absolutely, it's different, but you know, Girl Scouts is all about building girls of courage, confidence, and character, and this is a little bit different for us. We're having an opportunity, it's a 5K, non-competitive event for women of all ages, 14 and older, to come out, have a good time, challenge themselves, be with other girls and women. Um, we, have a, we have a goal of a thousand, a thousand people to participate so we're gonna have fun we're gonna support a great cause it's all being organized by um, a group of dedicated women volunteers I was gonna that, say let's let's talk about that I yeah. know that right now you've got uh, women veterans yes from Operation Iraqi Freedom and, and they, they are designing the course they are for this. as we speak yes okay so that's happening you also have National Guard members they who are, are designing smart. some sort of a, an obstacle course for girls the race is actually we want to point out it is for girls 14 and older yes Yes. And it's an all-female race. Right. I had some of the guys asking if it was something they could do too. Well, the guys can come out and cheer, volunteer. There, there you go. And then Rachel Brown, who is the winner from The Amazing Race, she's going to be your celebrity. That'll she be is. out there that day. Is that pretty exciting? Yeah. What are you looking forward to about this? What do you want people to know about Scouts? Um, people that maybe haven't taken a look at Scouts in a long time. Oh, well, it's a great experience to meet new people and do new things that you might not have been able to try before. Are you nervous about it? No. No? Or do you no. run? Do you, what, uh, what are you going to be run, doing? Crawling? <laughs> um, we're going to be going through different obstacles like a cargo net, a uh, slip and slide. We're going to it's kind of what Girl Scouts yeah. is all about, is pushing yourself to do something that you might not otherwise have done. And Taylor Ann's a great example of, you know, confident, knows she can do it, is excited about making it, making it work. Has Girl Scouts changed over time, or is it still the same sort of troop activities that a lot of us grew up knowing? Girl Scouts is celebrating our 100th anniversary this year, and there are a lot of the things that are the same, and yet this is a great example of how we stay relevant and current and adapt to the, to the changing needs of, of girls. Well, there are certainly a lot of folks that have taken an interest in doing some of these, uh, you know, more obstacle-based races. So right. it'll be fun to see so many women and their daughters out there doing it that day. We're going to have a link, and we do, on our web channel at NBC15.com. Look under news links if you'd like to find out more about the One Tough Cookie, the Mud Run, and uh, we'll have it all there for you. But best of luck to you. Enjoy the race. Thank and you. we really appreciate both of you coming in and your time today. Thanks so much.